What if I told you there was one thing that would stop you reality shifting more than anything else? Something that would really, really hold you back. And if you don't fix this or become aware of this, it's gonna be very hard next to impossible for you to shift. And this is something which more than likely you've come across and you are doing or you're aware of this. Okay, so what is the thing? Before we get into this, please go and watch my, um, at some point, go and watch my big video on how to shift techniques, tutorials, everything like that. It's here on YouTube and the link's in the description. So what is the one thing that will stop you shifting more than anything else? It's to do with your belief. The subconscious and conscious beliefs we have, specifically ones that are coming from people who don't know how to do the thing you're trying to do. People who don't know how to shift, they haven't shifted, they think it's impossible or they just really don't know what it's all about. And I think you know who I'm talking about, but there are many people actually who share their beliefs just because they haven't done something. They sh think they have some, ha some kind of authority to, ba to then basically tell other people that it's impossible, even though <laughs> there are so many people who have done it. It, it would be like if somebody uh, was a runner and they were unable to run a mile in under four minutes. That doesn't mean it's impossible because there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who have run a mile in under four minutes. All it means is that that specific person isn't able to do it. So it really comes down to belief. If you don't believe you can do it, you won't be able to do it. And this applies not just to shifting, but really to anything. Anything that you, uh, anything you don't believe you can't, anything you don't believe you can do, you will essentially hold yourself back from doing that at the holographic level and at the subconscious level as well. So if you have heard or seen any videos, any read any articles that say limiting, limiting beliefs, right? Things that are gonna keep you in this repeating pattern, you know, through no fault of their own, because really the science behind this, the quantum experiments that have been done and that will be done in the future are only really just now catching up with ancient knowledge. So this is still pretty new. There's so much we don't know about the human body, about consciousness and about reality itself. You know, quantum mechanics is a very new field of study. And only recently have they proved through experiments that we are connected to everything and that there is no separation between anything. This is only very recent that we've discovered this in a, in a science lab. Of course, they knew this thousands of years ago when it could be argued that civilization was more advanced, especially in like the Egyptian times and the Aztec times, times where they were able to build things like the pyramids, which we can't even build that now. The, and this is a topic for another video because the pyramids are fascinating. But long story short, there's evidence that we had a more advanced civilization before. We knew these things. We knew how to manipulate and control our reality. We knew how to shift and how to manifest and how to change things. But we lost the way, we forgot. And uh, Western or modern civilization came in. The doctrines came in, especially associated with um, various religious movements that would essentially crush and censor and um, uh, restrain any thinking that didn't go along with the narrative. Does this sound familiar, by the way? Because there's, <laughs> there's a version of this happening now um, under the guise of science, which is really just another form of a doctrine. A doctrine which doesn't want to be criticized, it doesn't want to be, uh, you know, questioned. And really it's the same thing. It's a small group of people who want to control the way things are going. And the best way of doing that is through information, through restricting and controlling the information that you have. So long story short, if, you're, if you have any doubts in your mind about whether something specifically shifting is possible, you really need to first focus on those doubts, removing those doubts from your mind, essentially, from your consciousness. Because if you have the doubts, it's going to be very hard to do the thing, almost impossible to do the thing. Um, and there's various ways you can remove these doubts. You can, uh, you can do it through logic. So you can logically remind yourself that thousands of people, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions have uh, done this consciously. And subconsciously, we have all done this. We all, every single one of us, create our own reality based on our conscious intention and the vibration that we're at. All of us. Um, you know, even the people who are maybe experiencing something they don't want to experience at least consciously, right? Subconsciously, they are creating that experience, at least to some degree. Now, again, I could go into more detail on this. I do have other videos talking about the experiments that prove this on the quantum level. This is not just my opinion. You know, my opinion is um, 
is just one voice, but this is based on quantum experiments that have been done that show these things, that show that our conscious intent, our t intention and awareness physically changes things, physically changes particles outside of us and even hundreds of miles away from us. So this is not just some new agey nonsense. This is now becoming much more tangible and accepted in the scientific community. Anyway, you need to basically do uh, repeat certain affirmations that confirm the truth that you know is true, but you've been told or programmed that it's not true. That was a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> Things like I can shift, I am shifting, I uh, I easily shift. And again, this can, this can apply to shifting, lucid dreaming, anything, manifestation, um, any change, any change you want to make to the experience you're having is done through belief, affirmations, belief, intention, and awareness. Scroll down and leave a comment affirming what you know to be true deep down, something that you want to just share with all of us. And, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll try and reply to everyone. If you do see this, if you do see any kind of, uh, negative thinking, negative patterns, negative, um, beliefs in other people's videos or in other places online, the, literally the best thing you can do is to completely ignore them, to um, click dislike, to click don't show me this, to um, step away from your from that particular place, channel, article, to distance yourself from that information and completely ignore it and instead focus on the affirmations and the things you uh, want both want to be true and know to be true deep down, okay? Yes, so... So that's it for now. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.